Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Violet and today I'm going to be sharing with you some pretty easy um, home decors that you can use in different areas of your home. The first one is going to be one of these tapestry wall hangings that are very popular right now. So what I did was grab one of these little area rugs from Dollar Tree and this one's the dark gray one. All I did was cut off the bottom tassels. And I try to keep those in a row. Um, in other words, keeping a little bit of that extra fabric onto that, the tassels in order for me to use them later. So what I did after that was I just went ahead and folded my area rug and then I did cut a triangle on the bottom just to form some kind of design at the bottom of my wall decor. So once I was done with that, I went ahead and decided to cut the top part of my tassels as well for my rug. So just remove both um, rows of tassels. Then what I did was I grabbed those tassels that I did remove off of my area rug and glued them right back on to the bottom part of my wall decor where the triangle's at. And all I did was use hot glue for that part. I know there's quite a few different ways and options that you can make these wall decors and I know quite a few people have already shown different tutorials on how to do them. I just wanted to kind of show you a simple, quick and easy way to make one the way I am going to use it in my home. Um, so just once you're done adding all your glue to your tassels and you glued your tassels to the back of your area rug or your wall decor. Go ahead, if you need any extra, just use a little bit more of the tassels from um, that you have left over. And if you wanted to make a second row, you could do that and make a second row of tassels right above the first row that you just glued on. Um, basically, you can just create any kind of design you like with these tassels, add as many or as little as you like to your wall decor. For me, I just wanted to keep it a little bit simple and just make um, glue one row. So once I was done, I went ahead and grabbed that extra piece of fabric, that triangle that we cut out, and all I did was fold it into itself to form a rope. So all you do is just fold it once and then fold it again right into itself and then add your hot glue at the bottom. And I did two of these pieces of rope together. I think these little um, wall decors are perfect for just that one extra piece of wall that you want to hang something in or maybe have um, a real pretty vase in front of it and kind of form a backdrop with them. I think there's so many different ways you can use these. So what I did was when those two pieces of rope that I made, I basically glued them on to the front part of my uh, wall decor. And I did that in order for you not to see the fringe or where I actually cut my rug to form that triangle. If you don't wanna do or form these little ropes, you could use lace right here, anything just to cover that part up so you won't see that um, where you actually cut your, ro your rug. And all I used to attach these two pieces of rope was hot glue. Go ahead and remove any of that extra fringe or rope that you have on um, either ends and also at the top where your triangle meets. And there I am just showing you, you could add more tassels if you like, beads, extra rope, anything you like onto your wall decor, but I just left mine as is. So once you're done with that part, what you're going to do is start to form your wall decor by adding some kind of frame around it. And the way I did it was I used these two pieces of wood and just glued them together to form a longer piece. All I wanted was at least three inches on either end of my, uh, for my wood to show on either end of my wall decor. And 
and the way I attached both of my woods pieces of wood together was just using some wood glue but you can use permanent glue or even hot glue um, but if you're going to use hot glue make sure it's on high heat and also try to glue it as fast as possible so you won't have that space um, where your glue cooled off and you know you didn't have enough time to seal it together so once you're done gluing your pieces of wood together what you're going to do is grab some rope in my case i'm just using some of this black rope um, from dollar tree as well it's in the little mechanic area or you know where all your hardware and stuff like that is at in dollar tree but just grab any kind of uh, rope that you like again i'm using some black one and i just measured out how much i wanted and then i'm just knotting at the bottom and removing any of that extra rope and i'm going to glue my rope onto my piece of wood using hot glue now i made sure that the knot that i made was at the bottom of that wood So once you've glued it onto the bottom of your wood, just like this, what you're going to do is use your hot glue gun to actually add your rug or your wall decor onto that piece of wood. And all I did was, again was add a little bit of hot glue or a row of hot glue at the bottom of that piece of wood. And attached my rug to the wood. Now what I did was I added a row of wood glue at the top where you see that extra space of wood and then I added some hot glue onto on the top of my rug in order to add that second piece of wood. And just press down on that piece of wood very very well because um, that would be the front of your wall decor or you can even place something heavy on top for a few minutes just to make sure that it does stay in place and it stays nice and secure and if you haven't already please subscribe and also if you enjoyed this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family it'll truly help my channel grow and that's how your wall decor will look for our second project, it's another quick and easy project. What we're going to do is grab some of these jars. Now, like I've told you before, um, if you've seen any of my tutorials lately, I am remodeling, or I'm not, my husband is remodeling my kitchen. So I'm going to make a, quite a few different decorations and different um, items for my kitchen. And this right here, what I'm doing is adding some E6000 to beads and I'm adding a little bit of hot glue and I'm attaching these beads to my um, jar lids. And this is what I'm going to use for my little coffee area. Um, I had previously made some um, kind of containers We're using some Dollar Tree items, of course, um, before, but I just wanted to change them around and make something a little bit different. So I decided to grab these glass jars with lids and then add this bead on top in order to make some new ones so once you've added your beads and you've allowed them to dry go ahead and spray paint them the color of your choice and there i'm just showing you that i grabbed a big huge bag of these beads for a dollar fifty at my local thrift store next what i did was i spray painted them that terracotta or uh, i believe it's called caramel um, spray paint from Craylon and I'll make sure to make, leave that link down below as well if you are interested in purchasing that spray paint and what I did next after it was all dry was I grabbed some jute twine ran it through that bead and then I'm just going to knot it and make a little handle now this is completely optional you could just leave the bead as is and use the bead as a handle but I just wanted to add a little bit more to my jars so I decided to add this little piece of rope of jute twine onto my bead in order for it to be kind of like a handle so I did that to all four of my jars and like I said I'm going to use these for um, my coffee station um, so I'm not sure if I want to write on them yet um, sugar cream you know teas because I have a lot of teas uh, my husband's a huge coffee drinker, but I'm a huge tea drinker, so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually write on these or just leave them as is. But for now, I'm leaving them as is. Let me know, should I put on there cream coffee and, you know, maybe cream sugar and whatever else I'm going to add onto the into these jars. So 
So once I knot it, my jute twine, as you can see, I'm just running that rope and making sure that knot is pulled into my bead so you don't see the knot at all. And you just see the jute twine itself. And there you have it, pretty simple, but it makes a huge difference by adding that little bead and spray painting those lids. It makes it completely look completely different. So I hope you enjoyed these two pretty easy and quick and fast tutorials on how to add a little bit extra to your home decor. Until next time, I hope you guys stay blessed. Bye.